thanking one more time the um, Chinese uh, Children Adoption International for their terrific song, as well as Gary's Kung Fu School for their uh, dragon dance. I understand the dragon came to visit us. He inspected us to make sure that we were worthy of, uh, of the good luck that he bestowed on us. And in fact, we have been bestowed with good luck, so thank you. Uh, the dragon has uh, said that we're here for an auspicious day. Uh, good morning again. I'm Dennis Kelly, the president and CEO of Zero Atlanta. What a great day we have here today to celebrate the 100 birthdays, as the, my Chinese friends told me. Please come up uh, uh, and, and uh, join us here. Um, the uh, uh, For the uh, naming of, the, of our second giant panda cub here at Zero Atlanta, we're this morning celebrating his uh, 100th birthday. It's a time-honored tradition in China and many countries where when infant mortality was so high, uh, the families would wait to name their, uh, their offspring. And in fact, with giant pandas, only five or six years ago, infant mortality was as high as 70%. Only a third of pandas were surviving. Because of the research that's been done around the world, uh, giant panda survival rate uh, is now up around 90 95%. And in fact, there are 31 pandas born in survival colony, and our little guy was one of those 31 guys. Um, I, I want to recognize a number of folks who are here with us today. Uh, in addition to the folks in the dais, I'm going to introduce in just a minute, but we've had a number of folks that were with us. Lonnie Wong, who's the uh, chairman of uh, the uh, National Association of Chinese Americans, is with us today. Lonnie, thank you for being here with us. We very much appreciate uh, what you're here uh, with us. Um, so. Uh, Lonnie, thank you for being here. Um, let me introduce the uh, people on the dais. It's um, representing the board of directors is Mark Roberts. Uh, board of directors is Atlanta. Thank you very much. Commissioner Lynn Riley from uh, Fulton County Commission is with us, a great supporter of the zoo. Thank you, Commissioner, for me being with us. Uh, Lydia Wan with the uh, uh, the uh, State Forestry Administration in Beijing, China, is with us today. Lydia Wan, thank you for being with us. Uh, Zhao Zhang uh, is with us from the Chinese Association of Zoological Gardens. Thank you for being with us today. And Greg Pridgen, uh, the Chief of Staff of the City of Atlanta, representing the City of Atlanta, the Mayor's Office. And Greg, Grant thank you. And Grant Park. And, was just, and of course, our great friend, uh, great friend in conservation, great friend in uh, leadership, Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle. K Casey, thank you for being with us today. So before we unveil the name, I uh, did want to just remind everybody that giant pandas symbolize so many things. It symbolizes success in conservation. There's only 1,500 pandas left in the wild. They would have gone extinct if it wasn't for cooperation around the world between the United States and China. It also represents the cooperation of the Chinese people and the American people, about which we're so thankful. We're so honored that Zoo Atlanta is one of the few zoos in the world that that China has entrusted its national treasure to. We look forward to sharing with everyone the success of Giant Pan World. Without further ado, after 45,000 votes around the world against 12 names for our new little guy who will join us, let's now step back and if you gentlemen and ladies would help me reveal the name of our newest Giant Pan Cub here in New Atlanta, one of only 31 born in the world. We'll step back and help us. This was the winning vote out of 45,000 votes around the world. It's pronounced Xilan. And, and Xilan, is, it's also significant, too, because often in China, the, uh, the, the second name will be carried from brother to sister to brother to sister. And so I think it's very fitting that, that you all voted for, for this name. It's a terrific name. It was suggested, uh, this name, by the board of directors. And as you know, the winning name, the, the winner of the, uh, the person who suggested it, gets a 50-person um, uh, re reception uh, with the giant panel from the first come out. I'd like to bring up Mark Roberts, 
So as a member of our board of directors, you represent the board of directors. Mark, tell us what you're going to do with that uh, great honor. Thanks, Dennis. Good morning. On behalf of the members of the Zoo Atlanta's board of directors, I'd like to thank everyone for being here on such a special and historic occasion. We're honored and proud the name we submitted was chosen with over 45,000 votes worldwide. And as much as we love our zoo, and especially as much as we love the idea of a private...